GTA 4, we're doing the story missions, hostile negotiation, double A gamer for life. Okay, so this does not have any kind of particular mission marker that you go to. After the Rough Rider, Mallory calls you and says that he's been kidnapped and uh, it starts the mission. Okay, the last mission I told you that uh, if you don't want to accept it, just uh, don't take the call from Mallory, just hit the B button. Go get uh, armor, ammo, go to your safe house, save it. In case the mission does not turn out the way you like it, you can always reload the game and go back to it. Uh, she will call you, or you can go ahead and call her, which most likely she'll pick up and tell you about what's going on. I got your message, Dimitri, you piece of shit. You're a dead man. A dead man. Before you die, I'm going to cut your face off. Then I'm going to hang it on my wall to remind me what a lying, cheating, treacherous scumbag looks like. Goodbye, friend. Okay, so Dimitri sends you a text. Nico's a little upset. And we're going to get into this warehouse and do what we do best. You know, uh... Roman sent you emails saying how great America was, this and that. And when he gets here, basically all the stuff that's happened to Nico is uh, related to Roman. So Roman's uh, lifestyle, gambling, doing the things that he's done, has dictated if what uh, Nico's had to do. Love, and Roman... He would pay a lot of money for your cousin. I'll get you the money, just not that way. This is a harsh world. We'll blame Nico time. for some of this stuff, and really, it's not any of Nico's fault. He's kind of done what he's had to do. Shit. You know, he sees uh, his cousin being threatened by a knife. He's going to take care of business, you know, and anyway all the trouble that's happened has been related to roman's uh, lifestyle and you know having to deal with loan sharks and that kind of thing but uh anyway that's a you know it is what it is kind of thing okay so there's plenty of targets up in here to be dealing with and a couple missions back when we were doing the deep construction for beginners I was mentioning that the assault rifle is the weapon that has the most zoom out of all the weapons, you know, exception of a sniper rifle, but you can't use a sniper rifle under cover and that kind of thing. So anytime the firefight gets hectic, uh, the assault rifle is my go-to weapon. Even in the Battle of the Gay Tony, when you get the uh, advanced SMG, or the advanced uh, assault rifle, it's basically a light machine gun, and I pretty much uh, just stick with this weapon, even though the advanced, S or the advanced assault rifle has a 200 round drum on it. Uh, I don't know, I just prefer this weapon. I mean, if this thing had a drum on it or something to that effect, you could mod it a little bit, it'd be uh, pretty sweet. Put a 75 round drum on it or something, that'd be nice. Okay, this level's going to work you a little bit. Uh, there's guys all over the place and what will happen is as you progress up the stairs there's angles for them to kind of get a bead on you that you can't really see so a lot of times I'll try going up the stairs backwards trying to keep my sight up and any gamers out there decide just to turn off the auto lock altogether I cannot blame you uh, sometimes it's just easier to get used to dealing with the manual aim my problem is, is that I kind of get used to the auto lock uh, therefore, the half trigger, full trigger thing would kind of work, yeah. Now 
Nice. Take my cousin, will you? Go to hell. I don't know. There's times where that auto lock is very helpful, and then there's times it just screws you up. The upside to the auto lock is just if you're not really sure if there's an enemy about, it'll automatically lock onto him, even though he's behind cover or something, so you know that the target is there. Uh, the downside is the way the thing kind of pops around a little bit. Um, sometimes you're trying to target somebody that has clear line of sight on you, and the auto lock will kind of lock onto a target that's really not in front of you and then you're getting lit up Armor vest, I'll take that. This bullet has your name on it. Who do you people think you are? Hide! Nice. Alright, as you get close to the stairs, there's going to be guys high and to the left here on the broken part of the ceiling.
See, that's the thing. Uh, Nico, or pretty much, you know, the Grand Theft 4, whether whatever add-on you're in, you kind of got this thing where his view switches from left to right, and that has definitely screwed me up more than I'd like to think of, especially when you're trying to get through a door jam. He kind of pops left to right with his view, and I don't like that. Uh, you know, keep it one way or the other, and I can kind of deal with it, but he automatically changes from left to right, and right there it's left, it's right, it's left, it's right, and uh, I think I'll fall off the, the walkway, so I have to run all the way back up again. There have been games where um, when you got like over that shoulder view, you can click the right stick and it'll change from left to right. And uh, those style of games have been helpful. But in Grand Theft 4, he kind of automatically does that thing. He just kind of switches from left to right and it's not, it just doesn't work for me. I'd rather he just kind of stick one way and I have to deal with it. Uh, coming through a door, his view will like switch from left to right to left to right, totally fucking up your your aiming situation. Uh, it's the one thing uh, Grand Theft 4 it had a great story. Nico's was great. Um, in some way, the targeting system was better than Grand Theft 5, but this little hard sight half trigger thing uh, is definitely. I don't know, it's a little on the funky side. Alright, you need to get a little closer to trigger this little... This is not so good, cousin! You are Nico Bell. Turn around and walk away for your... Thank you, cousin! You saved my life! We should get out of here. Alright, so that pretty much takes care of all the shooting. Take me home, cousin. Got a back way out of here. We're gonna conveniently have a truck parked out here so we can get out of here. Okay, so we just drive over to the Bohan safe house and then we'll have a little cutscene with Nico and Roman. Nico bitching at Roman for getting involved with illegal gambling and internet gambling and so on and so forth. And Roman bitching at Nico for killing everything in sight, but it's not really the case. Nico just does what uh what he has to do. Isn't America great? I get to see. 
sit in front of a computer and play Mr. Rich Man and diddle to death with crooks. Okay, I messed up. I know I did. I thought things would be different. I, I don't understand this place so good. Oh, man. Stop sitting in front of the computer gambling our money. Stop uh, getting into illegal card games. Stop spending all our money. Yes. Thank you. And stop thinking about the Russians. Men, we just need to disappear as far as they're concerned. Disappear! Okay, okay. But I want Florian and Darko. I need to know what's happened. Give me that. Fine. Leave the Russians alone. I was not the one gambling in their private club. I didn't know! I keep a guy afraid! Okay! Okay. Okay. I'm going to clean up. I have a nasty feeling I had a bit of an accident. Alright, so that's going to wrap this one up. By the way, thanks for saving me. That's what we do. See you on the next one.